Hello, movie lovers. It's, it's not a Wednesday afternoon here in Toronto. And I'm in my apartment. I'm hunkered down here. Of course, by myself. I live by myself, so I am by myself. And I'm here today to talk about my man, Harry. Harry birth year. 1966. So I'm going to talk about 10 movies. I'll try not to make the video too long. I might talk about it and mention a couple of things about the movie, but you know, that's it. So there's 10 movies here for Harry, 1966. And in 1966, me, I was 15 years old. I used to go to the show pretty well every Saturday night. Pretty well, most of the time, every Saturday night. Downtown show here in Toronto. Yes, so even I saw some of these movies, the downtown show, but I don't remember which ones, but um, if I remember as I'm talking, I'll tell you, I saw it at the show. Okay, so let's get started. First movie I want to mention is, uh, I got these movies, I have the movies, they're just too lazy to dig them out and, you know, and show them to you. I'm lazy, I, I, that's all it is to it. I had to dig them out, I gotta put them back and, you know, what that's like, so. <clears throat> so, A Man for All Seasons, Best Picture of the Year, yes, Best Picture of the Year. Sir Thomas More is convicted of high treason. Yes, he's over there in England, you know, so, it's a good movie. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. Uh, the second movie I'm talking about is Batman. You know, Batman, 1966. January of 1966, the Batman TV show appears on air for the first time. I think it was shown, always shown in two parts, if I remember right. It was a Tuesday and a Wednesday, or something like that. But yeah, so all that summer of 1965, I knew about the Batman TV show coming on air, right? So I couldn't wait for that Batman thing to come on TV. So I'm sitting there, I'm ready, I'm watching Batman, comes on TV, yeah, 15 years old, Batman, big Batman fan. It comes on and all of a sudden it's like, pow, pow, and slap, and this and that, and I'm sitting there going, What the fuck is this? Well, I didn't like the Batman TV show, but I didn't mind the movie. I don't know, strange way you look at it, but I didn't mind the movie too much. <laughs> but the Batman TV show, I don't have any of those episodes. I don't want any of those. They don't interest me. So I got the Batman movie somewhere over there in Blu-ray, but... Uh, I liked the movie, but the Batman show, no, didn't care for it at all. I thought I was seeing, like, the Dark Knight Rises or some kind of a Batman movie, like, a, you know, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't expect that. I actually liked the Green Hornet a lot better than Batman. All right. Hawaii. The movie called Hawaii. Uh, it takes place probably in the 1820s. Missionary guy, family, takes his wife to uh, to Hawaii and stuff like that. So uh, that's a long movie. Yeah, you got to be prepared for another long movie. It's pretty long. I forget how long, but it's a long one. Max Van Snowden or Stido, Stido, S Y D O W, another name I probably butchered. And. Uh, Julie Andrews, a very young Julie Andrews in 1966, of course. So the Hawaii, very good movie, very good cinematography in it too. Nice bright sunny days and also storms, wind storms, but the weather, boy. And okay, let's talk about another movie here. We're going to be talking about uh, what is it called? Uh, car, car, uh, cartoon. Carl, Carl Toom, Carl, C-H-A-R-T-O-U-M, another name of a movie that I can't pronounce pro pro properly, can't even talk properly. Charlton Heston, yeah, he's an English general. He's over there. 
he's an, he's over there in general. He's taking care. He's on the Egyptian side. Right? He's teaching them stuff, and he's in general. He's in charge of everything. He's over there. He's a, a in a fort, you know, uh, guarding against the invading forces of Muslims, the invading Muslims. So it's all about Charlton Heston. So that's another good movie. You haven't seen that one? Mm -hmm. Watch that one. And let's talk about Nevada Smith. Everybody's talking about Nevada Smith. Here's another movie with uh, Steve McQueen in it. Steve McQueen's a good actor. We all know that. We all love Steve McQueen. But Steve McQueen was in a movie, I think it was 1958. Was he not uh, called The Blob? Remember The Blob? That's a lot of fun. But I think Steve McQueen was a teenager along with all those other teenagers. And he wasn't exactly a teenager when he made The Blob. And he certainly wasn't no teenager or a young person when he made Nevada Smith. So a young guy, his mom and dad gets killed and he's going after them. He wants, to avenge, he wants to avenge his mom and dad. So right, he hits the road, right? You don't know shit, but he's going to kill these guys. Interesting movie, very good western. But by the time he made this movie, he was like, what, how old was he, 28, 30? So he was no little baby boy. But uh, anyway, like these movies, some of these movies, you got to go beyond that, and you can't think about stuff. You, you can't, you just got to watch the movie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so Nevada Smith. I liked it. I liked the movie. Now here's another one. Return of the Seven. You know, The Magnificent Seven? This one's The Return of the Seven. Of course, The Return of the Seven, there's no such thing, right? Because the only ones that stayed alive in the first movie, uh, spoiler alert, is, uh, of course, uh, three of them. The other four got shot to shit, right? So, Return of the Seven, it's a play on words, right? But it's the same thing as, well, in a roundabout way, it's the exact same movie as The Magnificent Seven. So, the best thing about this movie even though I liked this movie, this one I liked. I didn't like the other two or two after that one. George Kennedy and one had Lee Van Cliff in it or something. Cleef. Uh, so, yeah, not, they're not good. They're all right, but they're not that good. So, Return of the Seven, same idea. They get to go to protect the Mexicans, right, from the bad guys stealing all their rice, right? So, it's, it's all right. But you don't really need to watch it. But it's an all right movie. If you like westerns, there's a lot of action, guys getting shot off, horses, you know, but it's okay. Nothing wrong with it. You know, you can watch it kind of thing. And uh, here's one. I definitely I definitely saw this at the show. No, I'm not kidding you. I went to the show and seen this. I went to the show and seen this. This theater was packed. The auditor everything was packed. Couldn't get a seat. Right? It had to go be you had to be there early to see this movie. And I'm talking about Spin Out with Elvis. Yes. He's a race car driver. Nineteen sixty six. It was fun. You go to see an Elvis movie at the theater? At the show, I call it the show. It was fun seeing Elvis. Even though they were as corny as shit. But for some particular reason when you're fifteen years old. I didn't realize they were corny, not until I got older, and as old as I am now, yeah, I, I, I met they're corny. But 1966, I didn't see I didn't see them as being corny. Same as the Beach Blanket movies. I didn't really see them as being corny. It's a funny way of putting it, but uh, I don't know. So, spin Out. And the really good thing about this movie, Spin Out, it's got Shelley Fabres in it. She's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, she was a pretty girl. Pretty girl. And another one, everybody's talking about this one too, so we won't go into it too much, but I like this one too. It's a good western. It's a western, another western. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Clint Eastwood, you know, Ellie Wallach, Lee Van Cleef, Cliff, Cleef. Yeah, they're going around. You know, they're around the, um, going around. Anyway, yeah. And the best part about the movie is the last part, the very ending of it. Yeah, the very ending of it. That, that, that was a great, great ending, that movie. Uh, what else did I watch? Oh, The Professionals. Burt Lancaster. Burt Lancaster, 
uh, Lee Marvin, some other guys, bunch of other guys. Professional. It's another Western. This rich bastard, right? Somebody kidnaps his wife. Yeah. His wife. So he, he wants to get his wife back, right? So he hires Burt Lancaster, right? He's going to give him all kinds of money to head off and bring back his wife. So that's the professionals. Burt Lancaster, Lee Marvin. Some, no, some other guys. I forget now who, who but yeah. So that's a very, very good Western movie. Do another good Western movie. Um, well, the good and the bad and the ugly, get back to that. That's like a three hour movie, so you know, don't drink too much pop or coke or rum when you're watching that because you got to get up and go to the bathroom and pee once in a while. And the last movie, I watched this one a little while ago, not too long ago, uh, The Rare, Rare Breed with uh, James Stewart and Maureen O'Hara. It's a little bit of a slow movie but it's a it's a good story it's about the uh, you know, english uh, lady and her daughter coming to the states and have bringing a bull well, a bull like a cow thing right from england and england stock to pair it with uh, the american uh, cows right and they end up with another type of cow or something but uh, it, it's 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 a good movie another good movie this one's not that long probably what an hour hour and a half, hour and a half maybe but an hour and a half but yeah, so those are ten movies for uh, Harry, my man Harry. That was his birth year, not his birthday, but his birth year. So, ten movies for Harry, and I do hope all you grumpy old gentlemen are safe, staying at home, and doing what you're told. Was that my check? Oh, too early for my check. But uh, yeah, stay home and. Be careful of what you're doing and keep watching those movies. Me, I, uh, I, I, I watch movies, of course you know that, right? I play my albums, I read my books, so, you know. But anyway, be careful people. Talk to you again.